Ever wondered if there's truth to the tales of lost treasures and unsolved mysteries that captivate our imagination? There's something undeniably alluring about the possibility of discovering something long lost, of piecing together clues that lead to a hidden fortune. The thrill of the hunt, the lure of the unknown, the promise of untold riches, it's these elements that make the concept of lost treasures so intriguing. One such captivating tale is that of Yamashita's gold, a story that unfolds amidst the turmoil of World War II. Our story begins during the Second World War, a time of global conflict and hidden secrets. This was when the tale of Yamashita's gold started to unfold. The treasure, named after General Tomoyuki Yamashita of the Imperial Japanese Army, is believed to be an enormous cache of loot amassed during Japan's aggressive expansion across Asia. During the early 1930s to the mid-1940s, the Japanese Imperial Army, under General Yamashita's command, embarked on a series of relentless conquests. They swept through territories from China and Southeast Asia, all the way to the Pacific Islands. As they advanced, they pillaged. Precious artifacts, priceless jewels, and heaps of gold were seized from banks, homes and even sacred places. The spoils of war were immense, and they quickly accumulated a treasure trove of unimaginable scale. But where to keep such a vast fortune? Shipping it back to Japan would be too risky amidst the war. So, a plan was hatched. The treasure would be hidden until it could be safely retrieved. And the chosen location? The lush, tropical archipelago of the Philippines. The Philippines, with its complex geography of mountains, caves and islands, provided the perfect hiding place. It's said that the treasure was distributed across numerous secret locations, buried deep within the earth or hidden in intricate tunnel systems. To ensure the secrecy of these locations, it's believed that the workers who buried the treasure were often killed, their silence forever guaranteed. As the war ended, General Yamashita was captured and executed. His demise marked the end of an era, but it also sparked the beginning of a new mystery. The secret of the hidden treasure remained. Was it real? If so, where was it hidden, and could it ever be found? These questions have fueled treasure hunters and intrigued historians for decades. But the truth, like the treasure itself, remains elusive. As the war ended, General Yamashita was captured and executed, but the secret of the hidden treasure remained. Years passed, the world moved on, but the legend of Yamashita's gold persisted, sparking a worldwide treasure hunt. In the early 70s a Filipino locksmith named Rogelio Roxas claimed to have stumbled upon the elusive treasure. Roxas's story was nothing short of a thriller, filled with secret maps, hidden tunnels, and a golden Buddha statue. According to him, he had unearthed a golden Buddha weighing approximately one ton and a stash of gold bars in a tunnel complex in the mountains of Luzon. However, his joy was short-lived. Roxas alleged that the then-president Ferdinand Marcos, upon hearing of his find, had him arrested and the treasure confiscated. Roxas was released, but his golden Buddha and the gold bars were never returned. This marked the beginning of a long and arduous legal battle that would span decades and continents. Roxas sued Marcos in Hawaii in 1988, four years after Marcos was ousted from power. The court case was a significant event, bringing the legend of Yamashita's gold back into the limelight. The jury ruled in favor of Roxas, awarding him a staggering $22 billion, a sum based on the estimated value of the treasure. But the Marcos family appealed and the sum was later reduced to a still considerable $13 million. Despite the court victory, Roxas never saw a cent. He passed away under mysterious circumstances in 1993, leaving the case in the hands of his family and the Golden Buddha Corporation, an entity he created to pursue the legal battle. And here's where the story takes an even more controversial twist. Skeptics argue that Roxas's story is a fabrication, a clever ruse to exploit the enduring legend of Yamashita's gold. They point to the lack of concrete evidence, the absence of the golden Buddha, and the fact that the gold bars presented in court were proven to be made of brass. Critics also note that the map Roxas claimed to have used was similar to a map available in a comic book from the 60s, this, coupled with the fact that Roxas was a known treasure hunter with a vested interest, has led many to question the veracity of his claims. Others, however, maintain that Roxas was a victim of a powerful regime that would stop at nothing to retain the treasure. They point to the fact that Roxas was awarded damages by a court of law as proof of his credibility. The debate rages on with no clear consensus in sight. 
The legend of Yamashita's gold it seems is as elusive as the treasure itself. The discovery stirred a whirlwind of controversy and disbelief, casting a shadow of doubt over the existence of Yamashita's gold. While the controversy raged on, so did the fascination with Yamashita's gold. This legend of buried treasure, steeped in mystery and intrigue, has been a source of inspiration for countless individuals around the globe. The allure of unearthing a hidden fortune has sparked a relentless pursuit that spans decades. Treasure hunters equipped with metal detectors and maps have roamed the Philippine jungles, driven by the hope of striking gold. They have braved dangerous terrains and weathered countless disappointments, yet their resolve remains unbroken. This captivating tale has also found its way into the realm of literature and cinema. Numerous books have been written, weaving together fact and fiction, blurring the lines between reality and fantasy. These stories often portray daring adventurers who pit themselves against insurmountable odds, all in the pursuit of Yamashita's gold. In the world of film, the allure of this legendary treasure has been immortalized on the silver screen. From thrilling action adventures to gripping documentaries, the story of Yamashita's gold has been retold from various perspectives, each adding a new layer to its enduring mystique. The debate surrounding the existence of Yamashita's gold is as fervent as ever. Skeptics argue the lack of definitive proof, while believers point to tantalizing clues that suggest the treasure's existence. Investigations continue, with new theories and evidence emerging, keeping the mystery alive. There are those who have claimed to have found the treasure, only to have their claims dismissed as hoaxes. And yet, these stories serve to fuel the fire of curiosity, inspiring others to embark on their treasure-hunting journeys. The legend of Yamashita's gold is a testament to the human spirit's relentless pursuit of the unknown. It symbolizes our innate curiosity, our thirst for adventure, and our undying hope for a brighter future. Despite the lack of concrete proof, the legend of Yamashita's gold continues to captivate the world. The quest for this elusive treasure is more than just a pursuit of wealth. It's a journey into the heart of mystery and the enduring allure of the unknown. So, what have we uncovered in our journey into the mystery of Yamashita's gold? Quite a bit, as it turns out. This intriguing tale weaves a complex narrative that spans continents, cultures, and generations. It's a story that has captivated the imaginations of treasure hunters, historians, and thrill-seekers alike, and it's easy to see why. We started with the origins of Yamashita's gold, a treasure said to be amassed by Japanese General Tomoyuki Yamashita during World War II. This trove, reputedly filled with gold, gems, and valuable artifacts, was supposedly hidden away in secret locations throughout the Philippines. It's a narrative that's as rich and colorful as the treasures it describes. Then we delved into the discovery and controversy surrounding this lost wealth. Roger Roxas, a Filipino locksmith, claimed to have found a portion of the treasure in the 70s, however his triumph was short-lived. The treasure was allegedly seized by the Marcos regime, leading to a protracted legal battle that embroiled not just Roxas but also the Philippine government and even the United States judicial system. It's a saga filled with twists and turns making the story of Yamashita's gold as much about human greed and power struggles as it is about hidden riches. And finally, we explored the continuing mystique of this lost treasure. Despite the controversy and the lack of definitive proof, the allure of Yamashita's gold remains undiminished. Treasure hunters continue to search for it, historians continue to debate its existence, and the rest of us continue to be fascinated by the tantalizing possibility of a hidden fortune waiting to be discovered. It's a testament to the enduring appeal of unsolved mysteries and the compelling allure of lost treasures. So, where does that leave us? Well, Yamashita's gold is more than just a tale of lost treasure. It's a story that reflects our collective fascination with the unknown, our insatiable curiosity, and our eternal hope of discovering something extraordinary. It's a story that continues to captivate and intrigue and it's a story that's far from over. Whether fact or fiction, Yamashita's gold is a testament to our enduring fascination with the unknown and the allure of hidden treasures. The truth may remain buried, but the legend lives on.